Traceability event reporting is initiated with tag activation. By selecting tag activation, also known as the date of birth or entering the date of birth for the animal, this is the event reporting screen that will appear within the portal. Highlighted in red are the required fields that need to be submitted for a successful tag activation upload. The reporting date is pre-generated with today's date. The magnifying glass can also be used to help you in selecting the premise identification number that you are applying the tag at. These premise identification numbers will already be part of your account. You can add notes to the tag activation birth report if you wish to do so. From here, we will see we have one animal to enter the tag activation. I can enter the tag activation if I know the 15 digit RFID or ISO tag number. I can also select my available tags, which will generate a list of tags that have been issued to my account. If I know which tag I apply to the animal's ear, I can obviously select it from this list. I will select the tag and the animal identification number will pre-populate. For the date of birth, it's simply entering the year, month, or day, or using this calendar icon to select the date of birth of the animal. I will say the animal was born on Thursday, September 23rd. The date of the tag application is the date that I applied the tag to the animal's ear. Let's say I did it on Saturday, September 25th. I can also enter the sex of the animal if I choose to do so. I can select this by the drop down box. Let's say it was a female that was also the Holstein breed. After I have the information, so the premise ID where I applied the tag, the tag number, the date of birth, and the date that I applied the tag to the animal's ear, I simply hit save. I know that I've been successful with this tag activation as the insertion completed in green appears at the top. 